So this is the look. It's kind of chic, I guess. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So before we continue with today's video, I want to thank our sponsor, which is Dossier. Dossier is one of my favorite fragrance companies because their perfumes start at $29 and they're all based on cult designer favorites that are double, triple, quadruple the price. When you go to Dossier's website, you can type pretty much any of your favorite fragrances into their search bar and the dupe will show up. And if you just scroll, you can see so many of their different scents inspired by Gucci Bloom, inspired by Viva La Juicy, inspired by Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. They really have pretty much any fragrance that I've ever wanted. These are two of my current favorites for spring. This is Citrus Green Apple, which I believe is inspired by Light Blue. And this is Fruity Jasmine, which is just super girly, floral, and just the perfect scent for spring. These two together is a prime combo. It's so fresh and fruity and just like that spring-summer vibe. What I also love about Dossier is they have a money-back guarantee policy, so you can try the perfumes for up to 30 days, and if you don't like it at the end of the 30 days, you can return it for a full refund. That just really shows to me that they believe in their product and that they're willing to give you your money back even after 30 days of wear. It's, that's just amazing. I've worked with them for a while now and I use their fragrances all the time and it's so crazy because I will literally get compliments when I'm out like, oh, you smell good. Like, is that this fragrance? Like, is that light blue or is that Santal 33? And I'll be like, um, yeah, kind of. The scents are just very accurate to what they're based off of. And for a fraction of the price, you just can't go wrong. So I have a discount code for you guys. So I would really recommend you guys try them out. If there's a fragrance you've been wanting to try, or if you have a favorite, but you just don't want to buy again for another hundred dollars or whatever, try the Dossier dupe, see how you like it. And if you don't, you can always return it. So thank you so much to Dossier for sponsoring yet again. I will put the link and the discount code down below and let's continue on with the rest of the video. So I thought today we would do a classic chit chat get ready with me because it's been a while since I posted a YouTube video and bitch we just need to catch up. I'm gonna try to go for like a Pam Anderson look today. I tried with the hair. It looks cute from the front kind of but the back is like I don't ask for a tutorial yet because I'm still trying to perfect it. I know there's a lot of tutorials out there but I just kind of like winged it. <laughs> Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok and comment below your current beverages. I had a coffee earlier and right now I'm just having some lemon water with pink Himalayan sea salt for those electrolytes. We have some exciting things to talk about today. Oh my god, so, so sorry this was open. That's so ugly. I'm going to be so mad while I'm editing. So I'm not really getting ready for anything special today. I actually just got home from my trip back home two days ago now. Um, so I've just been trying to play catch up with like all the stuff I have to do for work and like some brand deals and just like that kind of stuff. So I'm mostly just getting ready for that. And then I wanna to go to the gym later. But yeah, it's like super nice outside. And I'm just using, I guess I'll kind of talk to you guys through what I'm doing, but I'm not really gonna be doing anything special. But in general, it's just been a while since I did any sort of video like this. So my trip back home was so needed. Like I've just been feeling so I guess like overwhelmed, just like stressed out. And I feel like that trip just brought me like the rest that I really needed. I talk about it more on my podcast. It just was so good. And it just really makes me question like, why do I live here? As soon as I came back, I'm like in the city. It's just like, ew. But it's weird cause it, I don't know. In a lot of ways I like living in a big city. And when I say city, like obviously LA is a big city, but there's a lot of like, neighborhoods and like quaint areas like that's one of the perks of LA like it is very sprawled out but you can find areas where it's like quaint I choose to live in the most non-quaint area ever and like in a lot of ways I like that but I'm just like bro I think this is contributing a lot to my like daily stress like I don't feel safe walking around and you know you get used to it but once you like compare it with you know, walking around feeling safe, being around nature, being, you know, just in a place where you're not constantly on guard for something bad to happen. <laughs> it's like, why am I choosing to live like this? So I don't really know what my plan is. I don't really feel like going through the hassle of moving because I don't have a plan. Like if I had a plan, that would make the hassle of moving worth it, but I don't have a plan. I saw this TikTok, maybe you can relate, but this girl said she is about to graduate college. So she's kind of like in a good place because she can really choose to live anywhere she wants in the country. But then she's like, everywhere just like has more cons than pros. And she's like talking about just all the big major cities and like 
how in New York it's like you don't have any space and then she's like well you know you could always move to Jersey and then just like go into Manhattan but then it's like ew you have to say you live in Jersey and it's like embarrassing no offense if you live in Jersey this is just for the girls <laughs> how she needs a dishwasher and a washer dryer and unit to function and I'm like low-key same and then just like traffic everywhere and then like weather everywhere is fucked it's just like ugh. I literally feel that because I really wanted to move to New York for a hot second not that that urge is completely gone but yeah it's like it's so much more expensive there in LA like my current unit for how big it is the fact that i have a washer dryer full appliances a full kitchen everything like that would be so much in new york even though they're la and new york are both expensive cities like there's just it's just different there and like the weather like that's kind of one of the big drawbacks for me and the fact that it's even further away from like my family i don't know bro i just i don't know like what my plan is for that so let me know in a comment like what your thoughts are. where do you live do you like it what are the pros and cons yeah it's just weird my skin looks kind of good today so i don't really need the full coverage but i need the color i don't like to tan my face because i feel like i just i'd rather not I feel like it's gonna clog my pores or i don't know i know there's face facial tanners but still it's really weird to get older especially like now i don't know it's like each phase of life each little stage of life i guess it's like you kind of just know what to expect you get to your teens and you kind of like know what it's like to be a teen but then all of a sudden you're like an adult and it's like what the fuck but then it's like okay i'm still a young adult and i still feel like a teen so whatever but now i'm getting to the age of like real adults like almost mid-20s ew not ew but just like what the fuck not ew in a, oh, getting old is a bad way, but just like ew is in why does time fly away. And it's just weird because it's like, ew, life is really happening like to me. Like, you know, when people are like, oh yeah, in my early 20s and you're always like, okay, whatever. <laughs> That's not relatable, but now it's like relatable. It's weird to realize that, also, why am I using a mini beauty blender for my face? I don't know. <laughs> it's weird to realize that life is always changing, I guess, you know? Cause you just, when you're a kid, like, you think, okay, I'm gonna become an adult and like, then I'm an adult. But it's like, no, you're still this age, then this age, then you're in this decade, this decade, this decade, you know? And it just like never ends until you die. This is why there's so much stuff, like self-help books and like, <laughs> I don't know, groups to join. Like, and also, okay, really like random. I don't know if anyone can relate to this. And maybe a lot of people can and it's like, oh, okay. It's not that weird. But like, I don't know. I just feel like as a kid, I never really liked doing activities like things like bowling or like like obviously there was stuff i liked to do or activities i liked but i don't know like school sports i never liked like i just always thought it was dumb or like even you know when people get super into like decorating for like small holidays like i don't know <laughs> like i just always thought like why like it's just gonna pass like it's just one day like or like with activities i'm like what's why do people get so invested in this like who cares it's just it doesn't matter but now it's like i realize if we don't have shit like that like what do we have you know like what else are you gonna do with your time <laughs> besides like activities and like decorating for holidays maybe that's just like the vibe of being like an anxious kid like i just remember hating bowling but now i'm like what the fuck it's like fun like why did i always like hate bowling so much as a kid i just was like what why do people love this like why do people always want to do this that was just always how i felt and now i'm like oh like literally what else are you gonna do you can't just sit at home all the time like and that's like what i like to do as a kid it was just be at home let me know if you can relate i don't know with that being said though i am also just like excited i guess not like necessarily to get older specifically but just like i don't know i'm like intrigued to see what happens in life i just feel like every year every year i just realize things i'm not using this anymore. i use a brush that was like ridiculous um urban decay concealer i really need to get like new makeup if you go back and watch like any get ready with me any makeup video i swear you're gonna see the same products like for years Sorry, I don't believe in throwing my makeup products away if they still work and don't smell like they got, they went bad. Like, that's a waste. It's not like I'm professional and I'm using this on multiple people and other people are like, it's not negatively affecting my skin or anything, knock on wood. Hope you guys don't mind that I went blonder with my hair. I know we're kind of over it like you guys have seen it at this point, but y'all know I was going back and forth. Do I go dark? Do I not? Ultimately, I'm really happy with the decision I made. <laughs> Makes like an official announcement video. 
guys i'm just like really happy for this decision i made to stay blonde i think i mentioned it to y'all but the main thing that really convinced me to stay blonde and just like do what i always do is my friend was like well if you go dark it's gonna take that much more work to go blonde if you ever want to go blonde but right now you're already kind of blonde so much of your hair already is blonde they're like like just stay with it because it's so annoying to like go back to blonde after being dark even if you do get it done professionally and i was like you know what that's so true but yeah i really like it i just feel like chic <laughs> i just like how it brightens up my face you know and just the way that i get it done with like the shadow root so a lot of you guys ask me what i ask for um i guess tech like at this point i just go to the girl and i'm like touch me up but i guess technically it's like a full baby lights which is like the super fine blended highlights with a shadow root so that means it's not just like blonde so it's going to grow out like chunky like it's a little still like dark at the top and natural so it's not like an ombre or anything it's like a shadow root with a baby highlight and i'll usually get like a full baby highlight once a year and then i think like probably two other times out of the year i think i don't think i go just one just twice I think two other times out of the year, I'll get like a partial, which is just kind of the front layers. So it'll get really dark in the back. I could probably like do folds more often, but it's just kind of like, it can be a little like pricey. And I don't mind when it gets dark like that. I still think it looks good. And that's why I get this because it is very low maintenance for like what you get. Um, like it can be months and I'm still registered to people as like a blonde, you know, and it still looks like cute when it's grown out it's not just like chunky like remember in the early 2000s when and i mean at a certain to an extent it's like a look but i think also it was just like people didn't really know what they were doing but like when highlights would be so chunky and just like thick and like streaks like streaks of blonde and i'm not talking about like a christina aguilera like that but like like not intentional like it's just like that's how highlights looked like it's very like can i speak to the manager at this point i will be doing makeup by ariel's hack of using a pressed powder under the eyes first i haven't done my makeup in so long because i don't really wear makeup when i'm back home like maybe if we're going to eat or like if we actually had like an event to do like last summer we kind of had this like family reunion but otherwise like if i'm just chilling i don't really wear makeup but if i do it's like not a full face like it's like a brows mascara bronzer concealer i love this powder it's the mac next to nothing i don't really like using a lot of powder i feel like it looks me as i'm putting on powder but i feel like it can look so cakey and i just prefer a really natural like glowy makeup especially now that you know after accutane and stuff now that my skin is really clear for the most part i would prefer to just have a my natural skin. See, I usually don't powder my whole face, but I just thought, why not? You know, if we're doing this kind of makeup, we might as well just go all out. Something else that's really been on my mind is, and I mean, I've always been aware of this, but I feel like especially now that, you know, I'm getting older and like, I don't know. I think just being in a big city, there's always like something to do. There's always an event, a club event, a party. Always someone wants to go out um just like being careful i guess like who you surround yourself with and i mean that in this i don't mean that in the sense of like oh going out is bad anyone who goes out like doesn't have their life together but just like i don't want to like offend anyone but i'm sure you guys can relate like you know those clubs where like it just seems like every guy is like in their 30s what are they doing with their life we don't really know let me phrase it like this <laughs> first of all y'all know i definitely have my moments where i love to you know have an antic pop out i like going out to an extent like not all the time but like sure antics are fun especially in the summer like that's my time to shine just had a reel go viral over like a day party day parties are my shit and i was so surprised at like how many people once it like went viral how many people are like what's a day party like oh i've never heard of a day party like let me know where do you live are day parties common where you live because i feel like in most poppin cities in the u.s like day parties are very common like la new york chicago miami atlanta like houston most of these places have like day parties basically i mean it can be a lot of things but it's basically just like the club 
during the day or like you know afternoon evening rather than like midnight i don't know i just don't really go out that much in the winter i would rather like go to brunch this is what the tiktok or the reel was about i would love going to i love going to brunch going to a day party maybe you do something after the day party but you can be in bed by like 9 10 p.m it's the best and then you're like not like if you're drinking you're not as hungover the next day because you drank earlier in the day you're not drinking until like 2 a.m it's just like the best like it's so fun so there's nothing wrong with like an antic but it's just like if you're always hitting up the same like i just think of again i don't want to sound judgmental or like a pick me or like anything like fucking on let me just spin it like this like where would my ideal guy like be hanging out you know like if i'm always like going somewhere where it's like i don't really like the guys here i'm just going here to have fun with my friends like there's nothing wrong with that but then it's like if i'm wondering at the end of the day like oh why are there no guys i like here it's like bitch because you keep going to the same spots where you know you're not gonna like anyone or like it's gonna be like mm, they're not for me and it's not like like i mean it's fine to just go have fun with your friends and not go because you want to meet guys <laughs> But I guess like I just want to be a little more intentional with like where I frequent, where I hang out at, where I go. Sometimes the bullshit is fun, but it's like not real. And like if I want to have friends that are a real part of my life and like find a relationship that's like a real part of my life. And with that, I mean like I could bring you to my family. Like I could actually have you like in my day to day, like real actual life, you know, not just like when I go out. It's like, where would that kind of person be? People always say Whole Foods. How are y'all meeting people, meeting guys at Whole Foods? Because first of all, it's rare I see like <laughs> someone I'd want to talk to at Whole Foods. Also, I'm when I go into Whole Foods or any grocery store, any store, like a Target, I'm very like in and out. Like, I don't know. I think the lights, the people just give me anxiety. <laughs> I mean, sometimes it's like Target, I can linger, but like usually a grocery store, I know what I want. I'm in and out, I do not relate, even to Target, I do not relate to the like, when you go for paper towels and spend $400, like I just don't relate. I'm very in and out of the store, like, I don't wanna be there. It's not fun. Some, okay, sometimes Target can be fun, but most of the time, I would just feel awkward like going up to someone in a public space like that, where it's like, it's not like, I don't know, you're at the park or like the beach or like, people were on TikTok were saying like, go to the dog park because those were like, that's where wholesome guys are who like have dogs. That's like talking to someone at the gym, you know, if you go to someone, or go up to someone at the grocery store, it's like, bitch, we're all in the middle of doing something. Like, people are trying to get the fuck out of here, like, or at the gym, I'm trying to focus, like, don't talk to me. So it's like, what are you supposed to say? <laughs> like, let me know. Damn, and this isn't the look I wanted to do. I just automatically started doing it. Okay, wait. Okay, I found this crusty lash we can use. And I'm gonna just do a little bit of this random palette i got in a boxy charm i'm not gonna do black because i feel like for the content i'm gonna take today it's gonna be daytime it's gonna seem a little random to have a heavy smoky eye but i will do kind of like a brown it's not exactly brown it's kind of orange it's actually really orange it's red okay hold on or north sorry it looked a lot more brown in the palette this is not the look i wanted to do at all but we're gonna make it look it's just gonna be kind of like a messy smoky we'll see all right i'm gonna try to fix this and i'll be back <laughs> okay okay we fixed it kind of even though it's not the look that i planned on it's kind of quaint and i found i scrounged up a lash my fave blush this is gonna be so cute i love like when you don't wear makeup for like a while and then you do a full face guys i'm so excited okay this is not my best work but it's pretty cute despite you know, the lighting not being that good. I'm like, I'm going out of here. Let me know if you put mascara on the bottom. Oh, fuck, I wanted to try this new hack. Basically take some tweezers. These are like tweezers I don't really use that much. And you like put the mascara on it and then you pinch your lashes together so that they look like, I don't know, baby doll lashes? Like, what do you call this? Oh my God, it's so cute. It's actually really cute. At first I was like, I don't know. It's cute. I don't know if I would, I don't know if you guys can even see. I don't know if I would do that all the time. But I think for this look, it's like, it's cute. Yeah, I just feel super excited for like, summer. Summer's always been my favorite season. Um, 
and I don't know, maybe I say this every year, I don't know, but I just feel like this winter was so long. Life is looking up. We have video ideas. Um, now I have to wash these off, ew. I love a nude lip or a clear gloss. That's all I like doing. But today, since we have a full face, we will be doing a full lip. <laughs> Remember matte lip sticks? <laughs> this is a MAC Laura Lee color. I don't know if y'all remember, but like in 2017, MAC sent so many people this like huge thing of like so many lipsticks, like lip colors, like it was insane. It was crazy. And so many people got mad at me for receiving that because that was still when I was like associated with the vegan thing. It was like, bro, like, cause I think I posted it like, oh, thanks MAC. But I thought MAC didn't test on animals anymore. So it was just really confusing. But yeah, so that's why I got that, but it's literally one of my favorite colors. I think it's just such a good, like, nude, at least for me. Like, that perfect, like, base nude. I don't know. And then this Urban Decay gloss. I have no idea. Oh, it's in Midnight Cowgirl. It's like a nude gloss. I think... No, I think we're going to put it everywhere. Just in the middle. Maybe just in the middle. So this is the look. It's kind of chic, I guess. Like, I feel kind of like... 90s i definitely want to keep trying this hair and really perfect it because i just i feel like i always just have my hair down kind of like beachy waves or like in a sleek slick bun so i kind of need to switch it up like i just want to switch it up i mean it looks good it's just like in the back it's not perfect 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 anyway let me know if you guys like the look if you like listening to me chat I have a weekly podcast, The Celebrate Podcast, available on all platforms from Spotify to Apple Music to YouTube. So that will be linked down below. Um, but yeah, let me know what you want to see more of on my channel. And definitely make sure you follow me on Instagram and TikTok because that's where I post more frequently. And yeah, thank you so much to Dossier for sponsoring today's video. I have on the scent. I put it on before I filmed, I filmed this. So good. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.